external linking isn't just about backlinks, okay? That's not where I'm going with this. You've written a blog post about the latest smartphones, and you might then link off to some Amazon products, maybe an Amazon affiliate scheme or not. But you also link off to other reputable postings as well, or newsletters or items out there, even just a description of something. That can actually show that you are a reputable writer as well. Look, when you, in the old days, I say old days, I'm sure people still do it now, but when you were doing coursework, we always had to put references in, didn't we? And it wasn't all about you just putting in as many references as possible. In Well, sometimes we did do that. It was kind of backing up what you're saying. So you're now saying that I'm going to tell you about the latest smartphones uh, in the world that are all that are coming out. And then I'm going to link off to other places as well. Now you might say, yeah, but there's a chance they're going to click that, go there and disappear. But don't be completely afraid of that. OK, so don't do too many, but put in a few to show that not only are you not afraid of doing that, but you're also linking into other sources for where you've got your info. For instance, where did you find out the info for the latest smartphones? Like you, you're, you're at home, you're in your bedroom or in a lounge and you've written that blog. Where did you get it from? Was it ChatGPT? Was it because you know someone who works somewhere? Was it because you read something up? Was it from another post and you're now summarizing? So if they want the fuller post, they can do. Let's say there was a big WordPress vulnerability right now and I went and wrote a blog post about it. I didn't know about that vulnerability until someone else told me. Their post was very long. I've condensed it down. If you want to read the longer blog post with more details or examples, click this link. It sounds like a bizarre way to build trust, but it can work for you. And there's also a higher chance that the person that wrote the original post, they might notice that people are coming to their post via you from the traffic source and they might get in touch with you. Hey, do you want to work together on a guest post or maybe, you know, collaborate in some form or the other? So in a nutshell, if you write a blog post and there's not much authority behind it, it will feel very isolated. And sometimes people might look at it and go, well, who are you to tell me that this is right and what to think? And if they don't trust it, they're going to bounce off and this affects your SEO.